Hello, my dear kids. Welcome back to another video with Miss Laura. How do you feel today? Great, right? Today we are going to develop another class in math. This is called simple equations, okay? So let's take a look. It says here, remember in simple equations, first of all, we need to identify the variables and constants. Yes. So in this case, it says here, this is one equation, as you can see, a simple one, okay? It says, look at the formulas, okay? This is one. Circle the variables and underline the constants, then find the values of the unknowns, okay? In this case, first of all, we need to identify the variables. In this case, which are these, letter A, letter B, letter H. Yes, me. Remember the variables are all the letters in our alphabet, right? Yes, all of them can be the variables. And the constants in this case will be the constant number two, right? Now it says A, when B equals 10, so that means this B equals 10, okay, this B equals 10, and the H equals A. Now we need to replace. So in this case will be our equation like this, right? It says A, 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 the same, look, the same equation, huh? equals, we open parentheses here, we have B, ah, me, but we know the value of B, right? It is 10. Okay, miss, I will write here 10 times H, oh, miss, but we know the value of H, it is 8. Okay, so here is 10 times A, we close the parentheses, divided by 2, the same. So in this case, 10 times A equals 80. 80 divided by 2 equals 40. Miss, we finished. We found the value in this case, okay? We found the unknown. Is it, it is 40, that's right. Now let's go to the other one. It says A represents the area of a triangle and B is the base and H represents the height, no? In this case, we have when B is 12, okay, miss, that means the base is 12, H is 20, right? So we are going to Again, replacing this formula, okay? It says A equals, open parentheses, B is 12, okay, 12 means times H, H is 20. Okay, means divided by two, that's right. We are following this formula, okay? So we have 12 times two equals 24. We add the zero, 20, 240. So 240 divided by two equals 120. Okay, Miss, we found here the unknown. It is 120. Very good. So this is the first formula. Now, let's see the second formula. In this case, we have, it says letter C. C represents the change and Y represents the number of boxes of cookies, okay? In this case, we have, the first formula is C equals $100 minus nine dollars times, no, times, we multiply here by y. Okay, which is the variables here? Oh, me, so easy, right? Y. Y is our variable here, and we have letter C, right? Okay, miss. So the constants are, in this case, the constants are, yes, me, so simple. It is here, no? $100 and $9, yes. So let's change into the formula. It's a, the value of Y is A. So we have to replace here. So that means C equals $100, the same. $100 minus, minus the same. $9, $9. Times, ah, means Y, but we know the value of Y. It is A, right? Okay, yes, miss. We know this value is A, right? Okay, yeah, miss. So here we are going to have that means $100 minus $9 times A equals 72. Okay, means $72, no problem. In total, we are going to have, okay, yes. Now see, here is C, right? C equals $100 minus 72 equals 28. That's what I put here in the answer, $28, okay? Yes, so that is the answer. 
Now let's use the same formula here, okay, in letter B. It says, we know the value of Y, right? It is 11. Okay, so let's change in this formula. We have C, C equals, equals $100, $100 minus $9 times, okay, means times Y, but we know the value of Y, yes, is it 11, no? So that's what I changed here, 11. So here we have nine times 11 equals 99, miss. So that means C equals $100 minus 99. So in total, how many I'm going to have? Just $1 as a change, okay? Good, that's why me, my answer here is, the change is $1, no more, okay? What about the next equation here, the simple equation? We have another formula, N equal 20 times M plus A times N. In this case, my variable is N and M, right? And here, the lowercase N. N, lower case, capital letter, no, N capital letter is the total number of bones. M represents the number of big bags and N lowercase represents the number of small bags. In this case, we need to replace here the, in this formula. So we have when M equals three, okay, we know the value of M, we know the value of N, right? So we are going to change here in this formula, okay. Here we go, N equals the same, 20 times M. M is three means, okay, I change here, plus A, the same times N. N is, what is the value of N? One means. So in this as a total, we are going to have $68, okay? Why means? Because it's 20 times three equals 60, plus A times one equals A. 60 plus A, 68. So that's why we have here 68 as a total. Now, in letter B, the same. We have the value of M. In this case, it's two, and M is six, right? Okay, so let's replace here. N equals 20 times two, because M is two, M here. The value of M is two, plus A, the same, times N. But we know the value of n, it is six times six. In total, we are going to have, yes, the, to the total number of bones are $88. Yes, simple, right? So that is why it's called simple equations, okay? Let's go here to the next one, okay? Here we go, it say, solving problems using substitution, okay? For example, we have here and it says, if n plus one equals 15 and m plus one plus s equals 19, what value does s represent? Okay, here we have, we know that m plus one equals 15. Okay, we need to change this because this is 15, right? Plus s, we don't know the value of s equals 19. In this case, because it's addition, in this goes to change, not change the opposite. If here is addition, here goes subtraction. If here is multiplication, division. If here is division here, multiplication. If it is subtraction here, addition, okay? Always is the opposite. So in this case, we will have 19 minus 15 equals four. So now we know the value of S, it is four. Yes, okay, now let's do it the first one. It says number four, find the value of X. So we are going to find the value of X in each question, in, the, in each equation. We have Y minus five equals 11. Okay, miss. We have the equation Y minus five plus X equals 20 because remember we need to find the value of X, right? Yes. So miss, Y minus five is 11. Okay, we need to replace here. Now this is 11 plus X equals 20. Okay, miss, here is addition. Here will go subtraction, right? So X equals the same as nine. 20 minus 11 equals nine. Okay, simple, miss. Now what about this one? This equation we have, okay? M times six equals 70. Okay, here we have our first equation. M times six divided by X. We need to find the value of X. 
equals 10. Means, but we know m times 6 is 6 is 70, right? So here we are going to replace, we put it 70. Divided by x equals 10. Oh, miss, here is, ah, yes, no? Here is, is going to change into the next one. So that means it's going to be division, right? 70 divided by 10 equals 7. That's right, okay? Now, what about the next one? Here we have 12 plus k equals 40. What are the variables here? Eh, k, right? Very good. In this case, we have 12 plus k minus x because we need to find the value of x equals 35. Oh, means we know 12 plus k equals 40. We need to replace here 40 minus x equals 35. X as a total, we are going to have 5. Yes, 40 minus 35 equals 5. Yes. What about the next one? B divided by A equals 24. Okay, so the equation is X times parenthesis B divided by A closed uh, equals 40, 40 A, right? So here we have X times means this one we have the value of this, right? So it is 24. Yes, that's right. X times 24 equals 48. Okay, means here is multiplication, right? So in this case will be division, the opposite, right? 48 divided by 24 equals two. So the value of X is two, that's right. And the next one, 14 minus U equals nine. Okay, my equation is X plus 14 minus U equals 25. Means but 14 minus u is 9. So we need to replace x plus 9 equals 25. As a result, because this is addition, when it goes here, will be subtraction. 25 minus 9 equals 16. Very good. What about the next one? It says rearrange, rearrange or group the terms, then find the value of y. So here we are going to find the value of y, not anymore the x, okay? In each equation, it says 3 plus y plus x equals 9. Okay, means this one we need to rearrange in order to have a similarity of this and to replace. Yes. In this case, we are going to rearrange here. K plus 3 plus y equals 9. Oh, miss. Now is the same, right? This is... Okay, this is 9, right? K plus 3 equals 9. So I will replace 9 here plus y plus 9. Okay, equals 9. In this case, is y equals 0? Yes, because this 9. Okay, yes, 9. Because it's addition here, 9 minus 9, 0. Good. What about the next one? In this case, we have y plus u minus 2 minus 4 equals 16. Okay, we need to rearrange. Yes y plus u minus 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 6, right? Equals 16. Oh, me, we have here the value of u minus 6, right? Yes, y, we copy the same plus. u minus 6 is 10, means, yes, we replace here equals 16. That means 16 minus 10 equals 6. So the value of y is 6, yes. What about the next one? b times 2 times 3, minus y equals four, okay? So here we have b times six, y means, okay? b times six, we are rearranging here, minus y equals four, okay? Means we have b times six equal 12. We are going to replace here, minus y equals four. That means, okay, yes, this goes, no? Here is addition, goes subtraction. 12 minus 4 equals 8. That's right. So the value of y is 8. Here, the next one, number 12. We have y divided by m divided by 5 equals 4 plus 5. Okay? We need to rearrange here, no? Okay, we know, miss, the value of m divided by 5. It is 3. Okay, yes. Y divided by 3 equals 4 plus 5, 9. Y equals 27, because here is division. When it change, it is going to be multiplication, right? Very good. So the value of Y is 27. Great. Okay, let's go here to the next one. 
this is really easy, okay? Remember that when you want to change in the equations, it's going to be the opposite. If you have addition here, when you change, subtraction. If you have subtraction, you change into addition. If you have multiplication, you change into division. If it is division, you change into multiplication. Yes, that's right. So in this case, it says solve the equations. Miss nine plus K equals 50. That means this is addition, right? In this case will be 50 minus, so it has to change 50. So we are going to have something like this, no? K equals 50 minus nine. So K is going to be 41. That's right, very good. The next one. 16 minus one equals nine. Okay, so here we go. So this is going to be like this, no? 16 here is addition minus nine equals y. So y is going to be seven, right? So that is why we have here the answer. The other, n divided by three equals 24. So that means n, because here is division, when it change is going to be multiplication, that's right. As a total, we have the value of M is 72. Great, okay. The next one, it say B times six equal 30. Okay, means here is multiplication. If we change is division, 30 divided by six, five. C minus seven equals 25. Okay, means here is Subtraction, yes, if we change, it's going to be addition. 25 plus seven, 32. That's right, the next one. X plus seven equals 21. X equals, if it is addition here, it change here. So it will be minus seven equals 14, right? Yes, the next one. 19, it says 16 equals 27 minus N. Okay, so that means N equals 11. Yes, that's right, because this 16 goes to subtraction, right? Good. 42 equals P times three, okay? In this, in this case, P, the value of P is 14. Very good. Why? Because this multiplication change and goes into division, right? We need to divide here. And we have 14, yes. What about the last one here? 30 equals 60 divided by U, okay? In this case, Okay, you know, right? The value of u is two. Very good. So we finished the values here, okay? Now it says, read what the children says, use equations to solve the problems. It says here, I have 20 party hats. I have 20 party hats. If I use n party hats, how many party hats will be left? Okay, it's simple, we need to Find the variable, here is n, no? Right, yes, yeah, so we can say number of party hats left. So in this case will be a, no? It is 20 minus n because we don't know how many are, right? And b say, if there are four party hats left, how many party hats have been used? Oh yeah, in this case b, it is the same as four equals this, no? 20 minus n. In this case will be n is 16, yes, because if it is addition here, we change into subtraction. 20 minus four equals 16. So how many party hats we used? 16, 16 party hats used. The next one, here we have, okay, 23. Jenny gives each of her guests six candies. If she invites Y friends, so we don't know the amount of friends, right? This is a variable. To her party, how many candies in all will she give to her friends? Total number of candies, it will be Y times six, right? Because it say she's giving each, each of her guests six candies, okay? This is multiplication. Now in letter B says, if she gives out, 96 candies in all, how many guests are there? Okay, so in this case will be 96 equals this one, right? Y times six. Okay, so in this case we are going to have Y equals 16. So how many guests are? How many guests are here? 16. 
Very good. That's right. Excellent. We completed the first part. Now we're going to continue to the next one. Okay? Now let's continue with the next activity. Okay? It says... Solve equations using guess and test method, okay? So in this case, we have this example. It's a two times n plus three equals 11, okay? We need to find our value, no? In this case, our variable is n, so we need to find the value of n. In this case, we are going to follow this method, okay? And its method is like this. It's a n because we need to find the value equals two times n plus three, okay? So we need to know what is the correct value of n in order to have 11. For example, if we give only as a value number one for n, we have two times n is one, right? Two times one plus three equals five. Is 11? No, so that's why the value of n is no one, two. Two times two plus three equals seven. Is the value 11 here? No, right? So that's why it is not two, the value of n. Three, two times three plus three equals nine. So nine is not 11. So that means that the value of three is not for n. What about number four? Two times four plus three equals 11. Okay, we found here. So what is the value of n? Four, because using here to replace number four, we are going to get the correct answer, 11. Okay, so let's prove here. Two times four, A. A plus three equals 11. So is 11? Yes, that's right. So we are going to apply this method, okay? For example, here we have, it says, solve the equations. We are going to apply the guess and test method, okay? In this case, we have, it says, three times y. Y is my variable. Here, what is my variable? M. In this case, N. In this case, A. In this case, D. And in this case, my variable is E. Okay, so first we need to start here, writing, right? And my variable here, N. Here, A. Here, D. And E. Okay, so in this case, we are going to replace in the equation. If we give one as a value, it's going to be like this, no? Three times one minus one. And we need to get what number? 17. Okay, three times one, three minus one, two. Is 17? No, that's wrong. Number two, okay, let's see. Let's give the value now. 2, okay? So we need to replace in the equation. 3 times 2, because y is 2, minus 1. We need to get, as a result, 17. 3 times 2, 6. Minus 1, 5. Miss Laura, number 2 is not the value of y. What about number 3? Okay, let's try. 3 times 3, minus 1. In this case, is 9. Minus 1, 8. Is 17? No. So here, when it is six is the correct value. Let's check. Okay, when it is six, no? Okay, three times six minus one. We need to get 17. Okay, three times six, 18 means 18 minus one equals 17. Oh, we found. So the correct value of y is six. So let's apply the same method here and let's do it. The value is 360, so let's prove, okay, here, no? If we copy the same, it will be like this, right? M divided by six plus four. As a result, we need to have 64. That means 360 divided by six plus four, okay? So this will be 60 plus four. In total, we have 64. Is the same? Yes. So the correct value is 360. Great. What about the next one? 26. So let's do it. Okay. My variable is n. So we copy again. 42 divided by n minus three. We need to get three, right? As the result. Okay. So it says my value is 
Seven, okay. 42 divided by seven minus three. 42 divided by seven is six. Six minus three equal three. Is the same? Yes, so my value is seven. That's right. What about the next one here? Okay, we have 18. Okay, 18 plus A divided by three equals 28. My variable is A, so we copy the same equation. Okay, plus A divided by three. So as a result, we need to get 28. So my value is 30. Okay, we need to get 28, right? So here, it's going to be like this. A 30 divided by three is 10, 10 plus 18 equals 28. Okay, miss, is the same? Yes, so my value is correct, it is 30. What about the next one? Here, my variable is letter D, so I copy exactly the same, the same equation, okay, because the result we need to get 24, yes. My value is four, okay, it say that D is four, so 16 plus two times four. Okay, four times two equals A. A plus 16 equals 24. Is the same is? Yes, it's the same. So my value is four. What about letter E? We copy the same, so here we copy, right? E times four minus six, like this. As a result, we need to get 26. It says that my value is A, okay, A, times four minus six. So in this case is 32 minus six equals 26. Is the same? Yes, so the correct value for E is A. Good, okay, so we apply that method. Now, it's a read what the boy says, use an equation to solve the problem. I pay 50 coins for one cow. Just for one cow, we pay 50 coins, okay, yeah. And four chickens, okay, with 50 coins, I pay for one cow and four chickens, okay. A cow costs 26 coins, okay. How much does a chicken cost? So we are going to do our equation here. It says 26, because it costs the cow 26 coins, plus four chickens times the cost, right? In this case, C represents the cost, equals 50. So here we have that the cost is six. That's right, very good. So a chicken costs six coins, okay? So that's all we finished. Yes, we finished with our simple equations, great. So see you in the next videos, goodbye.